Man, it looks like we're in there. volume down there we go that should be working I see there's a couple of people in there cool deal give me a second we're gonna check out a few different things this is the same General Lee it's been tuned with the factory tip 36 and now has a Palomar transistors in it we're going to get into a couple of different little things. It's going to be a short video. <coughs> and by the way, these are nothing like the old ones. That's why I pretty much got away from them and went straight to the, uh, the 655. <coughs> now these... The two transistor, the one driver, and the two butts. This versus tip 36 or like a 2950. A, uh, a Galaxy 94. Or any radios that have two driving the amplifier. I'm going to show you the major difference in these. Are they just a drop in? No. You're going to see that what happens. Okay. I should have ate something. Before I got this started, I'm getting tired and I'm getting hungry. So, anyways, no. To see the rest, you gotta pay if you wanna play. I'm not gonna show you nothing crazy. Just a radio now that does actually perform. And how it can perform, right? Kinda. So, Like stated in the last video of tip 36 or the factory regulator versus max mod, I have the top comment pinned to the top. You'll see that I state it depends on how many, what type, what voltage, etc. There's a lot of variables involved. For instance, the actual voltage, we're going to pick it off. right there you'll see it that's on high it's on low we're gonna key it here in a second this is crazy to do but we'll do it right in front of you here and then we're gonna modulate it too you'll see a difference in the change in the actual regulator itself yes they're parallel but you'll see the difference On high power, modulated it. Yes, it was a crazy splatter box mud duck before. Now, more work has been done. Let me kill that talk back than just, you know, biasing the RF chain, Palomar transistors. A lot, a lot more has been done. So, anyways, let's take a look at that. Now, Watch the the higher the voltage, the more the current drops. Well, you'll see the voltage drop as the current drops. Watch it. See, I showed you floating. There it is. Climbs up a little bit. Now, as we come to the top, now so we overmodulate. All this would do is get extremely hot. Just be a mess. You kind of see. What this radio is doing in the prior video i'll probably probably all together now we're going to just bridge this across here i mean that's like the plain as day do that and here's the key talking almost a couple of continuous watts 
That's your actual real power. You can see the regulator, how it maintains. We'll go to low power now. Sure, some guys are going to go, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, it is. It is. You're not going to see that much of a change here, but you will. All you're going to really see is the radio will run cooler. But as we start to draw some current, is where you'll really see the change. It's very obvious. Right. Now I only have two hands, so we'll go like this. One. Now watch this. Now it'll probably flat top, and again, like I said, it has to be retuned. One, two. Totally off the scale. Yeah, it's flat top. And like I said, it's got to be retuned. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, versus totally different. Again, this voltage off the collector, you know, it's, if this is a regulator, especially when you oscillate this thing or modulate it, all the different sounds and voices, that's where it really kicks in. The higher the voltage, to the fats is where this thing really works compared to tip 36 and the others hope some of that was informative plain as day hope you enjoyed the mud duck radio station in the desert we're clear click click